Could you call call the roll? Uh, yes. This party started. All right. Uh, Council Member Price. Here. Council Member Krikorian. Here. Council Member Blumenfield. Present. And Council Member Harris Dawson. Present. Very good. All right. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, we're going to open up now for public comment. Uh, Mr. Clerk, will you give us the directions, please, for comment? Yes. Members of the public who would like to offer public comment on the items listed on the agenda should call 1-669-254-5252 and use meeting ID number 160-177-1578, then press the pound key. Press the pound key again when prompted for the participant ID. When it's your turn to speak, an automated Zoom voice will ask you to press star six to unmute yourself. All right, well, thank you, Mr. Clerk. And with that, uh, let's open it up for public comment. Anybody on the Sorry, council member. Oh, no, go ahead, go ahead, Jenny. Uh, uh, Hello? Yeah, Caller, please say your name and the item you'd like to speak on. Uh, my name is Mr. French, for the record. Okay. A.K.A. Okay. Herman Herman. Okay. I'd like to speak on all items in general public comment, please. You have three minutes. You may start. Oh, oh okay. First, I want to say good afternoon to you, Mr. Boom Boom Field, and to the rest of you morons. Good afternoon. My name is Mr. French, and um, I want to go to my general public comment now. 42 FG 1983, fuck you. By the way, LAPD officer from Corona gunned down a man in Costco, killing Mr. French, a 32-year-old, all in the line of what he responded to as a hate crime, stupid. And instead, he murders a child, a man that was, had the capacity of a 16 year old, you stupid fucks. And that's the reason why you jackasses, morons, idiots, should be not working for LAPD. You're all fucking stupid. Fuck the police. Fuck the DA. And God bless Donald Trump, you stupid motherfuckers. Thank you. Caller, please say your name and the item you'd like to speak on. Uh, yes, uh, Sven Buncher, uh, item number two, and general public comment. Okay, you have two minutes. You may start. Yes. So, this is a very, very good day. Um, the good work of Bakewell at all. Danny Bakewell doing a great job fighting discrimination, fighting racism for the community. And I remember... The current Price is a, is a good partner, a very, very good, dear personal friend of Danny Backwell. And I don't care what you're saying, there should not be any issue about conflict of interest. And I remember... I stood up and said, Mr. Spinner should be made an example out of. It's the greatest day in the city's history. And then today, we are rewarded the friendship and the alliance for a better America. Definitely a hard-headed yes on number two. And waive all of the building inspection fees, city permit fees. In fact, I say give this property for $1. It's the least we can do. Now to my general public comment. How much time do I have for that? How much time for my general comment? You're on 45 seconds left. Yes. Um, but again, I don't want to listen to these to these haters. I know we're, we're, we're dealing with all the hate. I don't want to hear about no FBI. Say it the Lord. I don't want to hear about corruption. Say it the Lord. What you have to do is what you have to do, Mr. Price, and everybody there. Get those projects built. We need to get these folks off the streets. A little bit of blackmail, a little bit of corruption ain't the problem. We got an emergency, so you keep doing this, and you keep giving those properties away. 
so that we can get these things built. It's the only way to do it. Thank you. That concludes your time. Uh, caller, please state your name and the items you'd like to speak on. Caller, please state your name and the items you'd like to speak on. Caller ending in 8072. Mr. Chair, those are all the callers. Thank you. We're going to uh, close public comment at this time. Members, uh, I think we will consider items one, four, and five on consent, unless there are any objections. Items one, four, and five. No objections. Those will be uh, we'll move those on consent. Thank you. Item two, Mr. I, Mr. Clerk. Yes, item two, Economic and Workforce Development Department Report and Municipal City Facilities Committee Report uh, relative to proposed exclusive negotiation agreement with the Blackwell Company and Associates to construct a mixed-use project on city-owned parcels located at Slauson Avenue and Wall Street in South Los Angeles. Okay, this is a... Uh, a, an important project, not just in CD9, but citywide. Uh, and so we look forward to a uh, presentation from EWDD. Good afternoon, Mr. Chair and members of the Economic Development and Mr. Jobs Jackson, Committee. You have the floor. Thank you. Good afternoon, Mr. Chair and members of the Economic and Development and Jobs Committee. Uh, I'm Fred Jackson, Assistant General Manager with the Economic and Workforce Development Department. In April of 2019, the City Council designated EWDD with the assistance of the Los Angeles Housing and Community and Investment Department as a project manager for the Slauson and Wall Development Project. The motion instructed EWDD to prepare an RFP request for proposals for the development of the property and transmit for council review. EWDD released an RFP in May of 2020 and the recommendations in this presentation and our report are for the authorization for EWDD in consultation with LAHD to negotiate and execute an exclusive negotiation agreement with the Bakewell Company and Associates um, to also to construct a mixed use project on the city owned property at Slauson and Wall and to request the city attorney to prepare transactional documents for the city to enter into and convey the city property to the buyer. In addition, we are requesting first that the city owned property be declared exempt surplus land for the purpose of the Surplus Land Act under Government Section Code um, 54221F1A. And second, that the city attorney with the assistance of EWDD and LAHD to assist in the preparation of a development and disposition agreement, a grant deed, a covenant agreement, and a sales ordinance to effectuate the city's sale of the property to the buyer under the terms to be negotiated. Third, the authorization that the general managers EWDD, LAHD, or designees, and other collaborating city departments as necessary to prepare and, earn, and enter into a memorandum of understanding to clarify and define each department's roles and responsibilities. Future approvals by the city council and the mayor will be required to authorize the execution of any forementioned transactional documents and adoption of a sales ordinance. Uh, the Slauson and Wall property is a city-owned seven-acre vacant parcel situated in prime central location of the city. Uh, the RFP laid out city's goals and objectives, which included to encourage adjacent property owners to be included uh, with the proposal aiming for a larger development project to realize the catalytic potential of the property, to address the current housing crisis by providing affordable housing, to also provide job opportunities and stimulate the local economic activities. And to it must be a financially self-sustaining project. As mentioned, the Slauson and Wall RFP was released in May of 2020 via the LA Bavin. Um, the, in August of 2020, we received responses from the Bakewell Company, Slauson and Square LLC, Clifford Bears Housing, Sola Impact Opportunity Zone, 
and prime store development. The RFP review panel evaluated and scored the proposals and the top scored development proposal is that of the Bakewell and Associates, whose proposal was the most responsive to the goals and objectives of the RFP. The Bakewell and Associates consist of four co-developer partners, the Bakewell Company, the Michaels Organization, Capri Investment Group, and Brotherhood Crusade. The development team's financial partner is Capri, who will provide the equity infusion necessary for an initial implementation of the project. A unique, unique element of the Bakewell development proposal is its partnership with Brotherhood, Brotherhood Crusade, an adjacent property owner. This strategic alliance allows the development team the ability to acquire and redevelop the entire Slauson Wall, um, Los Angeles Street block, integrating a context sensitive asset to better serve the local community and enable the city to realize its vision for the property. The proposed development program includes more than 60,000 square feet centralized recreational park, 525 residential units, 47% of which, or 245 units, are affordable, uh, a grocer, a business incubator spaces, local shops, restaurants, and community centers, which will be operated by Brotherhood Crusade and car and bicycle parking. The proposed project is financially self-sustaining and does not require financial assistance from the city. There are certain contaminants have been uh, identified. Remediation of the site will be required. LA Sanitation has been an integral part of this effort and will continue to manage the environmental cleanup process. The site and the funds are currently under LAHD's jurisdiction and LAHD provides administrative assistance. Los Angeles Sanitation manages the cleanup process. The collaborating departments are working on an MOU, which will further clarify each department's roles and responsibilities. The Surplus Land Act was amended by the California State Legislature by the adoption of AB 1486, effective on January 1st, 2020. In consultation with the City Attorney's Office, the project as proposed qualifies as exempt surplus land and currently meets the affordability requirements set forth under Government Code Section 37364. In conclusion, the Bakewell Company and Associates development proposal is the most responsive to the city's goals and objectives laid out in the RFP. The action requested in our report will authorize the negotiation and execution of an ENA with the Bakewell Company and request city attorney to prepare other transactional documents as necessary for the city to convey the property to the buyer subject to restrictions set forth at Government Code Section 37364. This concludes my report and I have my colleague, Christine Calamaros with our real estate section here to answer any questions that you may have. Okay, thank you, Mr. Jackson, appreciate the report. Uh, let me just start off our discussion. Uh, the, the report states that the 12 month exclusive negotiating agreement can be extended for another 12 months, depending on time required for environmental clearances and securing uh, project entitlements. Uh, does EWDD anticipate that the entire DNA period will be needed to finalize these negotiations. Um, it, council member. Oh, thank you, Fred. Go ahead, Christine. Hi, hello, good afternoon. This is Christine Calamaros from EWDD with the real estate section. Um, we put in the 12 month extension in there in case that there is any complications in the negotiations, especially given that this site has um, environmental concerns. But this is not um, the time that that's uh, given in the in the first 12 months. So the first 12 months is given. We will we are prepared to written in the contract, but the other uh, 12 months option will be depending on the discovery and the due diligence period. It may or may not need the 12 months. Okay, uh, thank you. And when does EWDD plan on providing its next status update uh, to the Municipal Facilities Committee uh, on the status of this report? Uh, status I think, of the project. 
I think MFC re requested us to provide uh, a report back prior to entering into the ENA. Okay. All right, members, any, uh, any other questions this time? Okay, seeing that, I'm going to move that we approve the Municipal Facilities Committee's recommendations. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Yes, Council Member Price. Aye. Council Member Kerkorian. Aye. There's an aye. There we go, aye. Council Member Blumenfield. Blumenfield, aye. Council Member Harris Dawson. Yes. Good. Okay, thank you. Let's move on to item three, please. Item three, motion Blumenfield de Leon relative to a local version of New York City's Freelance Is It Free Act. Okay, as uh, some of us have heard before, Freelance Isn't Free. Uh, Mr. Blumenfield has been a strong advocate. Mr. Blumenfield, you want to lead us on in the discussion of this motion? Sure. I, thank you. Oh, well, I, first, I want to thank you, Mr. Chair, for scheduling this motion and your support. Uh, we've long been a leader, and you've been at the forefront of that in LA of championing championing the dignity of work, protecting workers, including the $15 minimum wage, uh, paid leave, fair work week, all those things. This motion, I view this as a continuation of that effort. Uh, it builds on the legislation that they did in New York in 2016. In recent years, there's been a lot of focus on the classification of workers, people who should be treated as employees or not, you know, things we heard in AB uh, 5. A local version of this freelance isn't free wouldn't get into the issue of whether workers are properly classified, but what it would do is give basic protections to those who do freelance work to ensure that they are paid in a timely manner. During the COVID pandemic, the government provided unemployment benefits to freelance workers, but typically they're just not eligible for these benefits and other programs. So first, it requires all contracts for work over a certain dollar threshold to be actually in writing. The contract must include a statement of work, the rate and method of compensation, and the date when the payments have to be made. Second, it requires payment in accordance with the terms of the contract or in the absence of a contractual payment term no later than 30 days after the completion of the freelancer's worker's service. Third, it prohibits retaliation against freelance workers who exercise their rights under this ordinance. Fourth, it establishes a, com a complaint procedure, a public enforcement mechanism, and a private civil cause of action, including statutory damages. Since 2016, New York City has opened more than 1,700 investigations and obtained more than $1.75 million in restitution for more than 555 workers. Uh, our workers here in Los Angeles deserve the same. They deserve more. There are details to work out. But moving this item forward to council is an important first step. And for, with that, I, uh, I ask for your support and your I vote. Okay. Well, I certainly uh, plan on supporting this motion. Is there any other discussion? No, so, members. Mr. Bloom, Mr. Bukorian, uh, or, or Mr. Marquis Harris Dawson? Nope. None? Okay, then I, uh, I move that we adopt this motion uh, as recommended. Second. Very good. Hey, Mr. Lid, do us the honors, please. Uh, yes, Councilmember Price. Aye. Councilmember Kerkorian. Aye. Councilmember Blumenfield. Blumenfield, aye. Councilmember Harris Dawson. Yes. All right, sounds unanimous. Mr. Lid, what else uh, do we have before us at this time? This clears the dust, Mr. Chair. Okay, well, thank you, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this meeting is adjourned.